mean for drinks uh, based on the raw data, and I don't find that very useful. I've discounted the possibility of testing any analyses on the raw data ca because my data are not normally distributed. So I don't know what I'm supposed to get from that. I guess I can get the mean rank of four, uh, median rank rather. And then it gives me the group mean of two. I mean, that's useless. I've got groups of ones, twos, and threes. It's equal sample size, and so I get a mean of two. Totally useless. Here we get some useful information. <coughs> this is the Kruskal Wallace portion. <coughs> Excuse me. We have a mean rank for drinking, consumed drinks, of 18.7 for location 1, and then 29.9 for location 2, and location 3 of 20. So at, at least on the surface, it looks like there's probably going to be a difference between location 2 and the other two locations. And when we look at our Kruskal Wallace, it's, this is an omnibus statistic. It's looking for at least one difference somewhere. And we can see that the chi-square is 6.51 with a uh, p-value of 0 0.039. Now, because that p-value is less than 0 0.05, I can reject the null hypothesis of no differences between my mean ranks for drinks. So these mean rank values are not uh, the same. The differences that we're observing are beyond chance of with an alpha of 0 0.05. Now, something uh, that's useful about the Kruskal Wallace in contrast to the Man Whitney U is that you get a chi-square value, which means we can calculate an effect size estimate which you can't do with the Man Whitney U. It's a major major negative of Man Whitney U is that you can't calculate a, an effect size estimate. The way to do that is easy. You simply take the chi-square value and then you divide that by n minus 1. Alright, so you take the chi-square value 6.514 and you divide by n minus 1, so 44. So that equals 14.8. So that means that 14.8% of the variability, 14.8% of the variability in r rank scores is accounted for by group or location in this case, which is a decent effect size in the behavioral sciences. Now, if you did a men with you, you wouldn't be able to do that because you wouldn't get the uh, chi-square value. Uh, so. Now that we've got the uh, omnibus Kruskal Wallace test, uh, we need to follow it up with some post hoc testing or specific comparison testing because we don't know if location 1 and 2 are statistically different and location 2 and 3 are statistically different from each other and location 1 and 3 are statistically different from my, each other. We only know that there's one difference somewhere. Now based on the numbers we'd assume that location 1 and 2 are statistically different from each other because it's the biggest difference. What we don't know is whether location 2 and 3 are actually statistically different from each other and we can test that. Now Unfortunately, when you go into analyze and compare your means with the uh, with the k independent samples, it only defines a range for you. You can't specify which group you want to look at, and that's true to my understanding. Even if you paste the syntax, I'm not aware of any way of saying compare group one and two, group one and three, group two and three. It's a, you can only look at a range of values, which means that you're left with having to specify uh, your cases based on your select cases utility. Now, I want to, I'm going to have to do this three times because I've got um, three possible comparisons. So uh, I'm going to select group equal 1. And whoops, that's the option to actually uh, click. Uh, I want to do 2, correct. So this little bar here means or. So group 1 or 2, which means it's going to deselect group 3. All right, so here's my filter and group 3 has been deselected. So now I'm going to perform a Kruskal Wallace again. Actually, I, I wouldn't have actually had to have done that for this case because I could have specified um, to just define the range 1 to 2. So that was a bit of a mistake on my part. But uh, we're going to have to do it anyway. So um, I'm going to click 1 to 2. I could have kept it just as 1 to 3 and it would have selected 1 and 2 anyway. Uh, so here we've got our mean rank 
of 